Being a student athlete at Harvard has been the highlight of my college career. I could not imagine coming into this school, let alone any school, without the team and family that I had right off the bat. I always knew I wanted to play college volleyball in high school, but I could never have guessed the influence it had on my life and will continue to have on my life for forever and in work. And although I'm done with volleyball, I will never forget what I learned here at Harvard. Being captain and the only senior on my team was simultaneously one of the more rewarding experiences I've had. It was different because it wasn't necessarily rewarding in, in the wins or losses, but it was rewarding in the way that I saw my freshmen start to love the program as much as I have while I've been here. And leading the team through ups and downs was very difficult, but something I was so ready for by my senior year. And I loved being the facilitator between the team and my coach. So it was a great experience, I loved it. Our team is famous for all the nicknames we have. People will refer to people on my team and I'll be like, oh yeah, Dubby or um, Holty. But one sticks out, her name, was, her name is Christina. She's now a captain. Half the team calls her Frank, the other half calls her Stein. I think that's definitely my favorite one. What I like to think about my place in Harvard history is the influence as a female volleyball player for the women's program here especially. I think my past four years has put a mark on Harvard women's volleyball that was, was there before but was definitely um, solidified during my time here. And my parents were amazing. They're in a lot of the video footage we have um, from the team. My dad's in the back like cheering and they, they were just a huge support system for me and then the team was the other thing and coach Weiss and Jeff and Arturo when he was here and Matt the trainers everyone um, endless support I I'm so grateful for everything that I had while I was here